my time of experience just being around girls and dressing well, I've come to realize that there's a lot of things that we do that we think make us look better, but in reality, it's killing our chances with women. And what I noticed was that these items pretty much are anything that make you look like a tool, like a prick, or a douchebag. Since those are all qualities women hate in a guy, and even though you're not, that's the message that your clothing is sending. So today what I did is I compiled the list of the top seven, call it the anti-douchebag list. The top seven things most guys wear that, well, women hate. Let's hop into it. Number one, dressing to show off your money. This is so prevalent right now and probably one of the worst things you can do with your style when you're dressing to try to impress somebody else by how much money you have. Many guys do this by flaunting brands. They're Louis V, they're Gucci, they're Yves Saint Laurent, Balenciaga, or any other hype brand like Supreme or Bape. Most of these guys end up looking like walking billboards wearing brands head to toe and in reality just looking ridiculous. On top of not looking stylish, the message you're sending to women is that you're so insecure, you gotta show how much money you have with your clothing. And, and like I said, even though that might not be you, that's the message your clothing sends and what women perceive. Women want guys that are confident and secure in what they have. So this is not a bash against those brands, but instead just being more balanced. Don't be a walking billboard and rep every single name brand head to toe. Number two, wearing shirts or clothing that just shows too much cleavage. I know, I, I'm a victim of this, and like I told you, a lot of this is from experience. But when you really start to think about it, put your in her shoe. If, you, if you're a guy and you see a girl that's pretty much dressed half naked and showing way too much, you'll automatically think that she's trashy and good for a one night stand, even though she might not be, that's the message you're receiving. Well, sadly, the same standard is for men. When girls see guys that just show way too much cleavage, they're just gonna automatically think that you're a tool bag that's way too into himself and definitely not boyfriend material. Number three, not wearing undershirts. I can tell you one thing for sure, no woman wants to see sweat stains on you, on your t-shirts or on your dress shirts. It just looks gross and disgusting even though it's a natural bodily function. So to avoid turning off women and coming off across unattractive, you always want to wear an undershirt. And it doesn't matter if it's a sweatshirt, a t-shirt or a dress shirt, if you wear the right ones like from our sponsor Sloan, you never have to worry about them printing or showing. This shirt pretty much is invisible. It's almost like a second skin and disappears when you wear it, while still offering the protection of no sweat stains, not staining your shirts with those yellow pit stains that look hideous, and also order control. Now the way these shirts work and why they're so different than any other undershirt you've ever tried is because these are made with three different shades. So they're made in different colors or skin tone colors that when you go onto the site, there's gonna be a link down below. Go on and look at the different skin tone colors and choose the one that closely reflects yours. When you buy that shirt and put it on, what you'll notice is it'll really just look like second skin. So when you put a shirt over it, since there's no contrast between the shirt and your own natural skin, there will be no printing or shadows that are gonna seep through and you can literally wear this thing under a white t-shirt and nobody would know. Pair that with the fact that these shirts hug your body and have elastane and stay compressed, the shirt is not gonna be extra baggy or making it feel any thicker when you wear it underneath other garments. And then to top it all off, it has a super deep V that allows you to show a little bit of man cleavage and again, nobody will ever notice you have an undershirt underneath. I'm telling you guys, these things change the game and if you ever try one, you'll never wear a shirt without one of these again, especially on hot days. So if you guys wanna check out these undershirts, there's gonna be a link down below. I think it's time all guys start wearing these. Stop sweating and stop turning girls on. Fourth thing guys keep wearing that just looks Hideous socks with sandals. Not only does this just, this is probably one of the worst fashion faux pas, but there's there's something worse than this. Wearing slides, your bare feet, out in public. Pretty much any time you're wearing any form of informal footwear like sandals or slides that's not near the water like beach or pool, women are gonna be unattracted to you. Hands down, no girl wants to see a guy's toes, I can guarantee you that. And so many guys feel that slides are acceptable footwear and will actually walk out like this. Do yourself a favor and cover your toes. Number five, again, this is another douchebag one, wearing your glasses indoors. I don't know why people do it. I guess they just feel cool or like they make them look more attractive, but there is no absolute reason why you should wear, be wearing glasses indoors. Not only is it just not appropriate or polite, but again, in a girl's mind, the tool bag and douche alarm is just going off the radar. The whole point with glasses is to protect you from the sun's harmful rays, and of course, a major side benefit is that it makes you look attractive if it suits your face shape. Number six, 
wearing sports jerseys. Now, NFL and NBA season, I already know. It's notorious for guys left and right to be repping their favorite sports teams. But the way I see it is that unless you were drafted by said team, there is no absolute reason you should be wearing that jersey every single day as if it's appropriate clothing to wear to go out. I can guarantee you with 100% certainty, no woman's gonna like that. And a guy that actually put in a little bit of effort and is dressed better than you, could steal your girl. These shirts are baggy, they don't flatter your body shape, and if you aren't built, the sleeveless design is just gonna show off your skinny arms. None of that's gonna help you. And finally, number seven, wearing the wrong color. See, combining colors, it's very tricky, and it usually starts just going downhill when you decide to take that fashion forward step of combining multiple colors in your outfit. My recommendation to you, especially to attract girls, is to stick to neutral colors or your basic colors. Tan, navy, white, olive, gray, charcoal, Black, these are all basic colors that you can combine within each other. They're always gonna look good and always gonna make you look sophisticated. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. Those are the top seven things most girls want guys to stop doing with their style. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Sloan. They're gonna be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.